I feel like my voice is not as crispy as it usually is. Crispy. Hello. Welcome back to NGMI, the show where we talk about lessons that we're learning as we're building a real accounting business so that you can also build a business of your own and learn from our lessons because we're learning together. That's what we do here. We're learning, we're learning, we're learning. We have a very important episode because I'm talking about the five things that I've learned building my business. These aren't the only things that I've learned building our business, but you know, five most important things. It's good for the title, you know, SEO, it's the whole thing. And speaking of which, hit hit that sub button and I'll, I'll send you a gift card for a sub at Jersey Mike's. No, that's not true. Fine. I'll do it myself. Just do it now and also like this video and leave a comment and tell me that you like seeing me every week. I need the affirmation. Today is a very special episode because it's my birthday. Yay! You know, whatever, put in some sound effects or something. I don't know. Do you know, do your thing. Do your thing. I wanted to do this episode because birthdays for me are always not a bad time and looking back on the previous year. Thinking about all the wonderful things that I did and all the not so wonderful things that happened to me and uh, reflecting on what I can do better this year, how I can enjoy life more and ultimately, you know, just pushing the boulder up the hill like I'm Sisyphus. <coughs> Five things, number one. You need patience. It takes a really long time to build a business. How much time does it actually take? You know, most people think for a successful business, it's usually past the five year mark, but some people say three, some people say eight, some people say 10. It just depends on what you're doing, what your industry is, and what you define as success. Philosophical, right? You have to go from zero to one. You have to get a customer first. You have to develop a product. You have to sell something. You have to put yourself out there and actually grow interest in the thing that you're doing in order to actually get any kind of money. And you might want to quit. You know what? I'm done with this. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. It's not paying my bills. It's not making me buttloads of money. I'm just tired of taking all of this time. And what you have to know is that if you just keep going, there's no guarantee of success. But if you just keep going, you might actually get somewhere. Because I really think that given enough time, given enough resources, and given enough determination, eventually anyone can make anything happen. Except for like magic or like levitation or something like that. You can't, you're not Chris Angel, okay? Only he can do those things. Mind freak. But I think patience as a virtue is something that goes beyond just building your business and having it take a long time. It can really help you with your employees and your vendors and your customers, making sure that you have the patience for them and that you're not just constantly in a rush to get things done or to get things from them or it helps you slow down and be intentional about the relationships that you're building which ultimately are the foundation of any excellent business. The second lesson that I've learned in building our business is that it is so much easier to build something with a partner. Look, I don't doubt that you have an incredible skill set and using technology and innovation and the skills that you have, you could build an incredible one person business that just takes on a life of its own and grows from there. Founders do it all of the time. You build something by one person and you're an agile team that can fix things here and there and solve problems really quickly and implement new systems and processes. And it seems like the ideal thing to do, but having a partner who can go through all of the ups and downs and experience the roller coaster of entrepreneurship with you is so, so nice. Because like I've said a thousand times before, entrepreneurship, growing a business, building something from scratch, it's a lonely process. Not many people understand the amount of love and care and investment that you're putting into a product or service or business or whatever it is that you're building. It lightens your own load so that you can go farther because you're going together. Now, having a partner does come with its own set of challenges. There's lots of legal questions as far as what should happen if one partner starts to hate the other, for example. There's questions of how pay works, how all the, the agreements work, who does what work, and all of those types of things. But having a partner, having someone to share the business with, to talk to, to bounce ideas off of, it is extremely 
helpful. The third lesson that I think I've taken away from building our business for the past you know, two and a half, three years, whatever, however long it's been. You shouldn't be afraid of doing things badly. A lot of people are afraid to do things badly because they think, well, what will other people think? How will this affect my image? What am I gonna do if this blows up in my face? And all of these questions that come with actually getting started in anything. Doing it badly is the first step to actually making something good. When we give ourselves the freedom of doing something poorly, we have no expectations or very low expectations for the result of what that thing might bring and that's such a beautiful thing because then we can learn very quickly how to do it better or what it should look like or what feels good about it or doesn't feel good about it and we can begin to create brand new things from that experience when I first started doing NGMI I was extremely caught up in not wanting to do something that sucked and I'm not saying that NGMI is the most beautiful web series that you've ever seen it's actually very small we've only got like 102 subscribers or something right now maybe it's like 107 I don't know but whatever it is at least it's something that we've started and something that we've continued to do when I first started thinking about doing any kind of video content I was extremely hesitant because I wanted it to look good I wanted it to look pretty and for the lighting to be excellent and for the shots to be framed in a certain way and all of that stuff turns out doesn't matter it has created a difference in our business we've seen more traffic come to our website because we're putting these videos on there we're seeing a lot more familiarity with who we are our organic presence has grown quite a bit just because we've consistently been doing something even if it's bad. The initial start of doing anything even if it's done badly is a lot more scary in our minds than it is actually in practice and once you do it enough times you can actually begin to get really good at it. Lesson number four. If you can impress and delight your customers more people will come. See, it seems kind of silly when we break this concept down, but if you just do a good job at the thing that you're promising to do, people will love you for it. Because the greatest component of whether or not your customers are happy is if their expectations are aligned with the result that they're getting. Totally unrelated mean break. Totally unrelated mean break. So in a customer's mind, if they come to you expecting to receive a service or a product, when they receive that product or service and it aligns with their expectations of what they were hoping for, it's like it makes a huge connection in their brain and they're like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever seen. But when you go the tiniest amount above and beyond their expectations, even if it's just communicating better to them throughout the process of your service, or even if it's just giving them something in addition to the product they were already expecting to receive, it creates a massive payoff. And by standing out, they'll begin to rapidly refer their friends their family, their associates, everybody to you because you have gone above and beyond their expectations. And it doesn't take a lot. Number five, transparency is a gift to everyone. People want to work with other people that they like, know, and trust. One of the most difficult components of building a business from nothing to actually existing is that you have to get people to like, know, and trust something that wasn't there before. So if you have clients already that like you, they're going to refer their friends and their friends are going to automatically trust that client's recommendation because they like, know, and trust your client. So they automatically transfer that like, know, and trust factor over to you at least in some capacity. And the best way to actually get people to like, know, and trust who you are is by being transparent with them, allowing them to see you for who you are, for what you do, to share intimate insights into what's going on inside of your business. Now, it's absolutely not for everyone. Doing something, for example, where you're talking about all of the things that you're doing in your business or sharing things online, talking about progress, maybe posting to social media and being transparent about the struggles that you're doing in your business or whatever it might be is not an experience that everybody wants to go through. It's not something that everybody should be doing. However, it is one of the most impactful components of building a community that likes, knows, and trusts you as a brand. It goes a long way in actually creating lasting, valuable relationships with the people that you're trying to work with. That's my birthday present to you. It's to show you all the things that I've been learning, things that I've been thinking about in my brain as we're building this business 
and you know, so that you can be along with me as we're building the business too, so that you can hear what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, where we're going, the things that we're learning together, because ultimately what I want to do is help you also grow your business. That's the goal for us, is to help you actually figure out what's going on inside of your business so that you can grow and be a better business person too. And that's our goal on NGMI, is to always help by sharing stories about our business as we're growing it together, because we're learning to, we're learning together, that's the goal. That's me, I'm Jeremy, the host of NG. <laughs> so if you like learning and you wanna learn, learn more, you know, make sure to tune in next week here on NGMI. All right, I gotta go because my, my voice is dying and I'm tired and I love you and goodbye. Download the Jersey Mike's app and earn rewards towards free subs with every sub, Pepsi, and Lazy Purchase. Jersey Mike, this one's for the gamers.